you know, and it just packs every single slot that the, uh, inside the impeller. So that got clogged. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, okay. Yeah. You ever hear it running and uh, just not pushing water, but maybe just a little bit of water? Because there's air locks, right? An air yeah. lock is right. You hear the motor. That's what we happening. thought what was happening. Right. But if there's any kind of flow at all, that means why it's primed. It's just not pushing. So I would either check either when that happens. It's either like the impeller is sheared where it's like and it's off and it's just like nothing it won't spin yeah or there's a bunch of crap inside Fog. so this is like honestly the best possible scenario yeah for sure i mean besides just now we called you guys out for that but there's other things going so we can take advantage <laughs> right yeah and I, I don't know do you, do you guys carry it oh you probably don't i probably need to get some anyway but look to me like it's kind of like because i tried to take this off in the whole priming process right it looked like when I started taking it off, it looked like it was kind of starting uh, to crack down there. You see uh, it? Yeah. Well, once you get this thing under pressure, if there's a crack, you will, it'll start bleeding. All see, right it wasn't there. it wasn't dripping. Right. But I was just figuring if it was something in the future. Yeah, I mean, I can I could always get a wet end for this. That's what they call this piece. Like they people call it the pump, or they call it the end. wet end. Yeah. I was even thinking just putting like the plastic. Yeah, or I've seen people you know, take, like just that little like JB Weld type right, of plastic. Right. I've seen people do that and it worked, you know, because I guess it depends on the severity. It's you know? real, like I said, it's not leaking from there. Gotcha. But I just when I was taking it off, it it looked a little cracked. Gotcha. Well, in the future, if you ever want to uh, uh, bleed a pump, I would uh, get some kind of like uh, you know something like like a pair of pliers like this that are flat mm -hmm. and just right here. That that this is actually for. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of noticed that. Okay. Yeah. And if that some of them are dry, or and then you'll hear the air but hiss. There's, but there's there's one underneath. Well, some of them. Oh, there's one underneath. Yeah. There. Some of them they'll, they'll actually put that on there, and it's actually a plug. So if you actually take it off and stick a, a screwdriver in there, it'll hit plastic like it's fake. It does. It's you know because a lot of them will have like one, two, three. Whatever. So the real one is on the bottom. Yeah. That that one for sure. For sure. Oh shitty. So we weren't even doing the right one. If but you know, it, I don't know. This, this water was coming out, but yeah, if water was coming out, then then it goes straight through. Cause yeah, we were yeah yeah that, doing that's our fine. damn just to prime this thing and yeah oh, you 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 had it primed, there's no doubt about that. But that this one does work. But to prime it, if there is air in the system, that is all you should have to do, yeah, and then just, the jets should uh, just start right up. Yeah, without without the motor running, just like you know, like breaker off, just do that, and you'll hear like you'll hear like hissing. And it'll start to gurgle and bubble, and, and water will come out. It might be like, you know, like air in and water. And mm -hmm. once it just goes, it calms down to where it's just water coming out. Tighten it back up, and that should be that. A full stream. Yeah. When and now you leave it on. You leave the actual pump I, I on just, while you're doing it. No, no, no. I just crack it until I, until I got nothing but water coming out. Then I tighten it back up and then turn it on. Okay, with the pump off. Yeah, because it was saying like, you know, turn off the battery and all that stuff. You know. Right. And then some videos we were seeing, it was like, open it, turn the pump on, bleed it, turn the pump on, like doing it back and forth. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's easiest just to turn it completely off and get all the air out, turn it back on. Now, sometimes you might have so much air in the system that you'll do that. And then when you, when you like, you bleed it and all that kind of stuff, you turn it on, you hit the button. Shit. We'll turn this on. Yeah, I'm listening. It'll just like, it seems like it's fine, right? It'll and you're like, oh, right. But then there's a big chunk behind it, and it kind of starts like, the whole process. Okay. Over. But sometimes I've had to bleed a pump like three times to get all. But a lot of times when that happens is like when I'm doing something like this, right? When I take off. Yeah. Crap, so a lot of air gets sucked up into the lens. Got it, got it. So we may have to, we're going to have to do it. Right. After this, okay. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Well, because well, well, you cut it off, so. Or you yeah, cut everything off to it. I here and here, and I got it pinched here. This is actually a, a bleeder valve that they actually. It hooks up to the pump so it doesn't get into a, uh, an airlock, but they don't always work perfectly. So. Okay. But we should definitely see like. Yeah, a, we, we lucked up and um, this was here when we moved we moved in, so oh, cool. we've been kind of trying to piece it back. Yeah, Hannah, my wife is pretty good at um, doing like keeping up with the pH level and stuff. Right. And then I've kind of been in charge of this, and it was. Yeah, once. Uh, I guess I didn't. Yeah. I, like I said, I mean, I just didn't know enough to take, you know, right, yeah, even take that whole thing right. off. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, I guess there's, there wasn't any really videos on that. Like, I thought I'd burned up the, the, the pump, honestly. 
Because I because then I started reading. It's like, don't run it without you know water. I'm like, dang, did we? <laughs> I know I remember one time I was putting a circuit board in for somebody and had these little jumpers for very specific reasons on that thing. And I'm like, I've done this a million times. I threw it on there and the, and the, and the, the temperature came up. It was like 100 mm -hmm. degrees and all of a sudden it went, blah, 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 blah. I mean, just like it freaked out. I was like, oh shit, and I turned it off. I said, let me just double check these instructions. It says, caution, no matter what you do, don't do. And I was like, that's yeah. exactly what it did. Oh fuck. <laughs> and, and it was like, otherwise you will short out the board and you've just ruined it. And, but I, I turned it back on. It was Luckily like, it was good. Yeah. And it was like, you know, yeah, one of those things where you're, the, yeah. the circuit board and I was like, oh my God, I just bought it, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it was $500, man. Oh, I don't need this. Yeah. But this should. Okay, so you did have it off. Yeah, it should, it should be uh, night and day here. So I noticed like the waterfall was like struggling a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Dang it. Now it's like the... The jets, like the jets control one and the auxiliary controls the other. Right. But yeah, that's... It's a little, I think it's it's sucking the, uh, because it's a little low on water. It's, yeah. Uh, it's skimmer sucking air. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's that. And that uh, is how you're supposed to fill it, through the filter. Yeah, I mean, that helps the, uh, it helps vapor lock. That's all that, that, that that's for. So you don't have to do it right now because we're, we're, we're good. Okay. So, I would suggest more than anything to make sure that, your filters are actually in there to stop the leaves from actually going down into the tube. There are filters in there. There are filters? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we took them out and kind of cleaned them. We definitely need new ones because who knows, it's probably, they've probably never been replaced. Oh, uh, this thing is pouring. Uh, it's got to be a jet. Got to be a jet. Well, I'll just have to show that as well. Looks like you had a mouse in here at some point. Oh, uh, is it nasty? No, just like see how they, they do this. Oh, okay. They, they chop Interesting. it up and yeah, make little homes. Which yeah, there's. They had ten cats here, but apparently they just let the mice run free. I didn't understand it. Yeah, they, they were they were earning their keep at all, huh? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, to me, I can't tell right now, but it's starting to look like maybe something got gnawed on a little bit. Ugh. Like, yeah, look at that. That is a uh, that's that's an airline. Oh fuck! It's, it's literally cut in half. So no need to. We can turn the water off for now. And this is gonna okay. Pour out. Is that over here? Yeah, I got it. I need to find a few, uh, and then put a union on it, or? Yeah, um, I, I need to find. I, I usually carry some. Uh, it's like ozonator tube, and it's it's. I forget what diameter it is. Like it's like this. This yeah. is ozonator tube. And it actually, we, this, this is the line that you have that, that's been chewed on. This this tube right here fits inside of it perfectly, like nice. with, a, with a de, uh, uh, like glue, mm -hmm. and you shove it in there, and it's like a coupler. It's perfect, and then you can put the vinyl tubing over that, and basically, it's like you cut, cut a little bit of this off, it's a coupler. Okay. You know. Yeah, that makes I, sense. If I can find some of that, I just need to find where the uh, other other side exactly. is. Exactly. Okay. And then that, that that should be good. Dang. And then we won't have to worry about filling it back up every time. No, no, it should, you know, steam would be your only loss of, of water, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. As far, yeah, as far as, it seems like it's all, all, all there. Seems like it's all there. Okay, so for sure we have that one. Okay. Question is, where's the other side? I think it'd be right You think it'd behoove us to clean the other one out? Not saying you right now, but I'm just saying in general. What happened? Clean the other one out. Clean the other one out? I'm not saying you right now, I'm just saying if, if the other pump. Oh, well, um, pump one is, it pulls all its water. Oh, that's like a main. From the filter, because that's where you want, you know, when pump one is running, that's where you want it to be filtering. Yeah. The other one usually will only have two suctions, and it should be like real big guys, like at the bottom, that kind of look like speakers. Got it. Usually two of those key together, and that's what runs to the uh, the second pump. Let's do that. No, I don't. That's me. So I left it on. Oh, it just runs auto. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, um, that one actually should be okay because it's only pulling from the yeah, bottom okay. and there's a screen in front of it. Got it. Unless they have the filter where it goes to both, but I really doubt that because filter one is where you're heating all the time, you're filtering all the time. That has the only one that has low speed. So okay. That's going to be your main, your main guy. Let me see if I can actually see something. Okay, you see, I got all my stuff out here. I was trying to. Thank you. It looks so easy just to do it, and then it was just like. Parts. So a mouse just chewed yeah, it, you think? Yeah, that, that, something. That's a definite bite. Because the, the vinyl tubing just, just, just doesn't fall apart like that. So. That's a weird, weird cut. So in actuality, Someone. I, to, to get this like really to seat right, I wanna, I'm going to drain about two, three inches out of this thing. Okay. Just so it's dry when I'm yeah. doing my repair. Well, I got a sump pump out there to pump it out. I'll be quick. Okay, no worries. Let's see what they got. Slow LED. Slow LED. Yeah. Slow LED. Yeah. Slow LED. Yeah. Slow LED. Going up through there. Get to the level. God damn. Expensive? Yeah, man. Like this one, that, that's what it looks like. See how they got like one connector? Mm -hmm. And then, then, then that's the, like the male, that's the female. And this one has one, two, it's got four lights on it. So you need one of these. So it's probably, okay. Yeah, but they want 56 bucks, man. Yeah. That's, that's. Or four little LEDs. But, I mean, where do they run though? That like, you got, you got like literally right here. You got to take yeah. foam out. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. They're they're all behind the foam. You can see one of them right in here. But yeah, they're all they're all random. So you have to you have to dig. Yeah. To find those. See how worth it it is. Right. It's four of them. Yeah. You, you might you might find. I found them before chewed up, and I just I just uh rewired them. Stripped it back. You know. Yeah, we can do that. Wow, then we, that's it as far as uh, uh, Amazon goes. Look at that, that one. And then the filters, it's the best way to look at I mean, I think I found the right ones. They're expensive. Well, as long as uh, they should have, uh, usually from the factory, they're going to be, it's called Pleatco or Unicell that's on there. And if, you, if, there, if it says one of those names and there's a number on that, mm -hmm. then it's really easy to look up. Just like All right, let's see the ultimate test. That's the one that wasn't working, so we got, it's working now. And now this side's working. So you can you get jets, auxiliary. The jets control the left side, auxiliary close, controls the right side, and these big ones switch if you want to do the seat or the actual swim. Then you get the seat, and then there's jets down there. So we litty.